Okay, so we're talking about AB equals CD, AB equals AB equals CD chart pattern. So, like I said, we're going to be talking about how to be able to spot where the C leg is most likely going to uh, to be located because this is one of the most difficult aspects when you are trading a b equals c d chart pattern and i do tell people the more you know the more you earn in forex the more you know the more you earn in forex and it is the day you stop learning that is the day one one starts to uh, start dying gradually right and i tell people forex market is diverse which means the face of the market changes time to time so you also need to keep upgrading yourself if you really want to take this business uh you really want to take it serious you just need to keep upgrading yourself with uh keep equipping yourself with more knowledge right so um without much being said a b equals c d trading pattern is a trend following trading strategy and this is why i love this uh trading pattern because it ensures that we trade along with the trend and 88 percent of the time when you are trading along with the trend you will win 88 percent of the time and i do tell all our students you want to be sure you trade along with the trend. This is one way you can be rest assured that price is most likely going to go in your favor. All right. So let's get started. So what do you want to look out for in AB equals CD pattern? And how can you be able to spot this chart uh, pattern? And how can you trade this successfully? The first thing you want to do, for those of you who do not know, uh, you need to understand how trend works. Trade A, B equals C, D chart pattern successfully. You need to understand how trend works. All right? I think we have a video on that. We have a video on that. And those who have passed through our advanced course can testify to how we go deeper on how to understand uh structure right so you need to understand market structure before you can be able to spot this very well so the first thing you want to see is that you want to see a move like this when it comes to a b equals c d okay so this leg Hold on, guys. I need to just pick a pen to be able to write this. Just a few seconds. Where is this? Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, so this area right here, the beginning of the trend is known as A, all right? Why the end of that move is known as B. And here is known as C. Now, this diagram shows that we want to see something like this, a zigzag, all right? Bear with me, guys. I can I couldn't I couldn't find the right um tool to use, so I have to use this. This is slow, but I so guys, when we talk about A B equals C D, this is what you want to see this is the kind of move you want to see in the market all right now what do i mean by a b equals cd it means the measurement between the hair leg okay 
the head starts from the beginning, while the B is the end of the move, all right? And the correction part of it is known as B to C, all right? The correction part, which in some cases you can be con can be considered as a pullback, all right? Is known as B to C, all right? Now, the most important thing out of this is that you want to focus on A to B, C to D, all right? A to B and C to D. So the line between A and B must be the same, okay? Must be of the same size. So you want to ask something like this. You want to ask something like this. So which means the reason why it is called AB equals CD is simply because the length between A and B must be equal to the length between C to D. So the end of the move is known as, the, as D. I don't know if you are getting what I'm trying to what I'm trying to say, guys. This is how it's uh a few seconds, guys. I need to get a drawing for you guys. Okay. A B equal C D. Okay, this is what it means, guys. So it means, like I said. The measurement between A to B will be the same length between C to D. All right. So that is how AB equals CD looks like, guys. So this is what you want to look out for in a chart. All right. Now, one of the major challenges a lot of people are facing right on this type of chart pattern, like I said, is the C leg, all right? The C leg in the sense that a lot of people do not know how, uh, how far the C leg is going to go, all right? A lot of people do not know. Either the C leg is gonna be as small as this, or it's gonna be as deep as this. A lot of people do not know. This is what gives a lot of people huge challenge. But today I'm going to pinpoint to you the area you need to look out for where you uh you're most likely to see the D leg, uh, the pullback stop at the same at the particular area, guys. So now let's dive into the chart. So I'm going to use this same chart as an example. So let's use uh okay, let's let me just go back. Let's look for a bullish example now. Okay. I will use this same leg right here, guys. Now, like I said, the first move you want to see in AB equals CD leg is just the first move, all right? The first move like this, this move, all right? It does not really matter if a trend has been, it does not really matter if a trend has been, you know, has been going, up and down it does not really matter what you are concerned with is the beginning of a move all right is the beginning of a move that is what you're concerned about all right so you want in abc's chart abcd chart pattern like i said this tells you that a price or a particular uh, currency pair is facing a particular direction, either, either up or it's going down, right? That is the only way you can be see the ABC, the chart pattern, right? So I'm sorry, guys, my voice is not so good tonight. It's not so good tonight. So quickly, let's go back into the chart. Now, with this, you can see something like this. Look at this move 
can be considered as a preceding move. All right. Now, this the beginning of this trend. Okay, this is actually a short trend, but the beginning of this move is known as A, which is the beginning. Why the end of the move is known as B. Now, you will not know when this move is going to uh, stop. You never know if this move is going to be as long as this or it's going to be as short as this. But how can you be able to spot it? The only thing you want to see is that once you see a, a sharp move in a direction, before you can start looking for the uh, for the C leg, you want to see a short move first. All right. The moment a short move appears like this, that is when you want to say, okay, price is pulling back. Price is heading towards the C leg. All right. Now, once you see something like this, that is when you want to start monitoring it. So you want to start monitoring it to a level where the C we start where we stop, the C leg we stop. All right. And now, by virtue of this move, we can see that we have a pullback right from here down to this level. All right. Now, this is A. Let me try to mark it out for you guys. So sorry, I, I couldn't find the right drawing to, to use, but I think just bear with me. Let me try to look out for it. Okay, let's use this. Just bear with me, guys. Okay, so this is known as A. All right, so why this head is known as B, okay? And as the as uh, price pull back into a significant area, the moment you start pulling back up, that is when you want to start looking out for a trade opportunity. Now, like I said, what do they mean by A, B equals C, D? Now let's see that let's uh, understand that this move has not formed from the C right here to this place. It has not formed. Let's assume that way. Let's assume this is where we have the price right now. This is where we have the price right now. This is where we have the price right now. So all the candlesticks at the right hand side are yet to form. Let's assume. So we want to be able to know where price is going to head to, where it's heading to, where price is most likely going to get to before another reversal can happen. We, will, we cannot know, but due to this type of chart pattern, we can be able to spot that easily. And now, like I said, the AB equals CD, we give, we tell us ahead where the D leg is going to extend to, all right? which means the size between the A to B will be the same move where the D is going to get to, all right? Can you see, guys? Can you see we have the D? We have the D leg exactly where we, the D leg extended with the same length between A and B. Can you see, guys? So that is why it is called A, B equals C, D. So this type of chart pattern tells us ahead where we should be expecting our target. You see, I like trading A, B equals pattern a lot. I like trading it. It's one of the best strategy I respect, uh, one of the best chart pattern I respect so much. When you know how to trade this alone, guys, believe me, you can trade this in any market condition, right? Even under a big ranging condition, you can find ABC, ABCD chart pattern, all right? So the length between the A and B will be the length between C and D, all right? You can see, 
It's going to be the same length. Can you see, guys? If what I'm sharing with you is making some sense, please type two in the chat. So before the C to D leg form, you would have known where you are expecting your price because you the only thing you just need to do is just to copy the same length you already have between A to D. Just copy it when you have the C leg. Then you that is where you want to focus your target. All right. All right. Thank you so much, guys. That is where you want to focus your target. And now, like I said, one of the main challenge people are facing with this type of chart pattern is this. They don't know where uh, the C leg is going to stop. And now I will just tell you the simple secret right here, all right? Even though I don't have enough time to explain, uh, to go deeper, but I'm going to tell you what you need to look out for. So you, the only thing you want to look out for in this type of chart pattern, when the C leg is forming, okay? When the C leg is forming, let's assume the C has started forming. We have a short move this way. You are only looking out for the next engulfing candlestick pattern within the A and B leg, all right? Which means between this place and this place, you want to look at where you have the engulfing chart pattern right here, between here and here. Now you can see we have engulfing chart pattern here. We have another one right here. All right, but for me, I'm going to choose this based on experience. I'm going to choose this. All right. Now, the reason why I will not choose this one at the top right here is simply because it's very, very close to this one. It's very, very close to the B leg. All right, guys. I think I'm going to teach this. Uh, I'm going to look out for a time to teach this, this deeper with the advanced class and the previous uh all the anomalies everybody i'm going to find time to teach this because this is going to take us like two hours 30 minutes uh class all right but i will try as much as possible to digest a lot of information for you guys that are here because the goal is just to be sure that you understand every bit of information and be able to use it for your own benefit right now look at this let me take all these things away let me take all these drawings away. I don't want to convince you at all. Now look at, we have the A to B already formed. And now, before you start looking out for the, for the C leg, you want to see a small pullback, right? You want to see a small pullback. Once you see a small pullback, that price is already coming down. That is when you want to start looking out for the for the C, because there is no way, and eh, I tell you, there is no way price will move in a direction and there will be a pullback. And once there is a pullback, is A, B, A, uh, a B equals C, D pattern must be present in that pullback before the preceding, uh, before the continuation of the whole train, all right? Don't let me get too confused, please. What I'm trying to share with you is that, can you look at all this overall trend? Look at this trend. Between this place, between this place and this place, you agree with me that it's a downtrend, right? Between this place and this place, that is a huge downtrend, right? But before then, we have, a B equals C D pattern presenting itself as price was moving down. That is the reason why I said there is no way price will not pull back. We pull back right here, and A B equals C D pattern will not be present. It will be present, all right? Despite the fact that we have A B equals C D to the downside. Look at A B equals C D to the downside. That is not where I'm going, guys. 
But I just want to be able to substantiate what I'm trying to share with you so that you can understand every bit of information I'm showing to you. Now, this is it, guys. The moment you see this move, you see that price is just coming down. Your next target is where, where is uh, the next engulfing six, uh, sorry, the next bullish engulfing pattern within the AB, AB move. So once we know that, okay, this is the area where price is most likely to return, you can simply mark it or start focusing on that area. All right? Start focusing on that area. And now, how can you take your trade with these guys? That we have different that you can use to take a trade with this type of chart pattern, all right? Now, once price comes into this leg, you already know that your target is going to be the same length between A to B. It's going to be the same length between A to B. Something like this, all right? You already know that is where you are where price is going. Now, how can you take a trade in here? We have different methods that you can take, but I'm going to share one or two with you guys tonight. Now, the thing you want to do is simply draw a small trend line between B to C. Small, draw a small trend line, all right? What do I mean by trend line? You understand, for those of you who understand how trend works, you understand that. Draw a small trend line, right? Once you draw a small trend line based on what I have right here, I have drawn the trend line. So you want to wait for price to close above the trend line. Once price close above the trend line, just take your trade, okay? On any of the candle that close above the trend line take your trade, instant execution, then put your stop loss below the C leg, just about three or four pips below. Then your target is going to be at the D point, which is right here, which is right here, all right? So your target is going to be at the D point, but to be on the silver side, your first take profit can be should be rather at the at the b level all right your first take profit will be at the b level while your second take profit will be at the d leg if what i'm sharing with you is making some sense please guys let me know in the chat please so this is how you can trade this chart pattern successfully without any any hazard i tell people that there is no way under this planet Earth, that I will lose money again in the forex market. It's, ne it's never possible. And I have several students that uses a lot of strategies and they're making money. It's not all about you getting tied to a, to a strategy. It's good for you to use, start using a strategy and master that strategy in as much as that strategy is giving you money. It's good. You can stick to it. Keep making your money with it. All right? But when you know, you know. You see, guys, I do tell some of our students, if you know all the things I know about forest, sometimes you will see a buy market, and at the same time, you see the seeing a sell market on the same spot. But you have to use your discretion, use your knowledge wisely. So it is good to know. All right, guys. So what I'm sharing with you guys is that choose a trading pattern and start using it. So if what I'm sharing with you tonight concerning this uh, chart pattern, please type in clear. If that is clear to you, please type, type in clear. Type in clear. I'm taking this upon myself every week, all the anom lines, all our current uh, advanced students and the old ones, we're going we're gonna to be having a deep training with them every week once in a week aside from the sunday training so congrats i congratulate those who have taken all our advanced our advanced uh course both in the past and and present so we're going to be having that every week because 
the goal is just to be sure that uh, we produce good traders, those who will go out there and beat their chest that uh, they pass through us and now they are making money, right? I know a lot of people want to make money, but the challenge is that they don't know how to do it the right way, all right? So this is it, guys. It's so simple. Those who have passed through our advanced class can understand all what I'm sharing with you. This is just, uh, we are less than 40 minutes in class right now. And we have a training that on this particular chat pattern for over two hours. So you can imagine the kind of information that will be packed in, all right? But we keep learning every day, guys. So for those of you, who have not been making money i want to employ you start using this all right if you do not understand how trend work uh go on our youtube channel we have a trend video right and you can watch to learn how trend works but this is a very simple process even if you don't understand how trend works what you want to look out for the first thing you want to look out for is a, a move in a direction once you see a move in a direction, be sure that there will be a retracement, a pullback. There will be. All right. And now I know one or two, one, one person or two among you may, may be thinking, why did we not pick it from this place? Why did we not pick it from this place? Yeah, okay. We can let's say, let's use another dimension. We assume that A B is to this place. And now we have the move. We have the move. As we have the move, we are expecting this to come into this, this zone, right? But it does not come. Price went back up. As price went into this place, the moment it start coming uh, back to the downside, then we start looking out for the direction because this is our target where we expect price to come into. But right here, it pulled back a little bit and went back up. So which means it is not yet valid. We want price to come into this place. As, as, as price comes into this place, that is when we are sure that A, B to C has formed. So we are adding to D, which means it's equal, uh, A, B for C, D. I don't know if that is clear to you guys. I'm so sorry, my voice is, is not so good tonight. Even since yesterday, I've lost my voice. You know, I've had a lot of trainings and all of that. So I'm just so tired, but I've taken it upon myself that I have to be on this on this session today because in the last two weeks we have not been here. So and I've taken up taken it upon myself that I have to be here. So, guys, that is what you want to look out for. It's a very simple logic, all right? It's a very simple logic, but trust me, you're going to make good money with this, right? And the good part I love about this strategy is that most of the time, it will give you ratio one to two, ratio one to three, or even more. Because there will be time that you will have a short C to D leg, a short C to D leg, which means a short form like this. Okay, you can have a short, a short move. Then with that short move, it's going to guarantee you that uh, the, the C to D leg is going to be really, really wide, which means your target is going to be really, really wide. All right. So that is it, guys. Now let's look out for another scenario for the sell side. All right. Now look at this, guys. Let's look. Let's use this move. You can see. A sharp move to the downside, all right? Now with that, a move back to the upside, okay? Which means A, B, C. Now with this, we can be sure that it's going to give the same, the same length. If it is not the same, it's going to be almost. You can see it's not the same, but almost there. Almost there. So most of the time, you're going to make money with this. And you can have a smaller move like this, right? Something like this. A short move like this. For me, I may not take this because I want it to come into the 
bearish engulfing area. All right, I want it to come into the bearish engulfing area. So when it does not come to your own, uh, to the area you're looking out for, let it go. Look out for another another pair. All right, I hope this is very very clear, guys. You can see. So most of the so most of the time, the the <coughs> sorry about that, guys. So most of the time. The AB equals CD uh, will be completed and you're going to make money with it, guys. So if you have any questions in the chat, please let us know. Please, I want to ask on what time, on what time frame do we analyze our trading using this platform? What time do we trade, take the trade? See, um, okay, all right. You can do this on any time frame. You can do it. You see, A, B, A, B chart pattern. You can find it on one minute. Up to weekly chart. All right? But up to weekly chart. But I generally advise you can take this from one hour and above because it will be more stronger. You can also take it on 15 minutes depending on how, uh, depending on your time. All right? If you are busy type, you can focus on four hours. They are busy person. So with that, there is no way I tell you that you will not be able to catch close to minimum five trades in a week if you monitor your chart very well. Just need to open your chart. If you are trading on four hours, you can just check your chart two or three times in a day because you check every four, four hours. Okay? As each candle closes, check every four, four hours. Okay? Then you know that, okay, I've checked my chart right now. Then I'm going to check after four hours. So in a day, you can check between th three times in a day. Then you know that, okay, chart pattern is forming on a particular pair. And once the signal completes and it breaks the trend line between B and C, take your trade, put your stop loss and leave. Put your take profit, then leave. Then come back probably after four or four or eight hours to check if you are in and you break even. I hope that is clear. So you can do this on any time frame. But I generally advise if you want to trade on four hours, look for this chart pattern on four hours. If you want to trade on on one hour, look for this chart pattern on one hour. All right. But as you get yourself exposed to this chart pattern and the strategy involved you will be able to pick uh you'll be able to pick your your trade on the lower time frame to give you a uh, more tight, tighter stop loss okay i think we're going to take that with our advance uh with all our non nice let me put it that way all right so and if we have the opportunity we'll teach that to you guys on this free session as well all right because the goal is just to be sure that uh you take something reasonable home and something that you can use and make money for yourself. It's not all about money, money, money. All right. But believe me, if you want to get more than what you bargain for, you need to sacrifice something. We don't need to lie to ourselves. If you want to get more than you want, more than anyone can just give you, you need to put in something to get something. That's the way it works. All right. So, guys, I think we have more questions. Can you please share the previous videos with us on WhatsApp? I can't understand what you mean, sir. Prince, previous video on what session? On what um, what session? I can't understand that. So, any other question, please? <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry, guys. My voice has not been good. So, any other questions? Of course, the video will be will be on our YouTube channel before tomorrow night. It will be on our YouTube channel. So, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and ensure you click the subscribe button. All right, because we wouldn't have the opportunity to be posting videos. 
video link on our telegram channel anymore so once you have your you subscribe to our channel and you click on the bell icon you'll be notified once we put in any video on our youtube all right i hope that is clear alabi all right so that guys this is all i have for you tonight i'm hoping to see you guys next week with something really really amazing all right and i'll be glad to have a closed door discussion with all our advanced students okay to be able to refresh their memory with a lot of a lot of goodies and strategies like this to go deeper and deeper okay just a few seconds for those who don't know let me get you the, the youtube link the link across to you guys just few seconds all right so that's the link right there just click on it all right look out for trends uh look out for trend video just type in trends so you, you're gonna see varieties of video then watch as many as you see then it's going to teach you how to recognize uh how to be able to uh spot trends all right we have a bunch of these of, of videos and we're still going to have more as time goes on so just make sure you you subscribe and uh ensure you click on the bell icon so that you can be notified and don't forget to click the like button and share this with your family and friends let us let them join us so we can everybody can benefit from this amazing uh opportunity so guys in the absence of no question i think we need to call this session a day so guys like i said to round this up you can look for this type of chart pattern on any time frame all right the golden key points i have revealed to you once this the sea leg has started forming look out for the engulfing area all right look out for the engulfing area so the engulfing area will be your key area where you expect price to drop down to before it keeps going up all right i tell you it's eight percent of the time a b once a b c a b c a b c forms the d is most likely going to you know to come up it's eight percent of the time the c leg will show up so the worst case price we do is that is to come to the b and reverse that is the minimum price we do if at all the d leg is not going to complete price will at least come to the b leg before it reverses so that is why you want to put your first take profit at the b leg and expect price to keep going to the d leg to complete this the assignment for you so guys thank you so much for having me and for those of you who are new if you are totally new you want to take the opportunity to learn more you can take our advanced course all right we have a promo price right now going on for hundred dollars okay this is we have a huge video of over 22 videos with minimum of two hours one hour 30 minutes two hours and above videos on each each video all right you can imagine the kind of information that will be packed in that all right so and as we have the extra section for all our alumni and the incoming students we'll be having that every week once in a week so to keep helping them grow and learn new things so it's going to be an endless opportunity for those who are already in and those who are coming in uh as newcomers so thank you so much guys for having me but remember you just need to keep practicing whatever you've learned don't just come learn and forget it if you want to be successful you need to put in your best all right once you put in your best your best will bring out the best in you and the best will pay your bills all right that is all i need to tell you guys so thank you so much for having me i'll see you guys the same time next week 8 p.m i think that will be better but we, we, we need to shift this from 5 p.m to 8 p.m 
so those who are on the way can be back home to join the session so see you guys next week sunday by 8 p.m thank you so much for having me i still remain i still remain your humble coach my name remains Aboladi Adekola. I'll see more of you on the group. And one more thing, please. Those of you who have attended, if truly you've gained value from this, let's go on the channel. Let's start in whatever we've learned. If what you've learned is not beneficial to you, please put it on the group. That comment alone will help us to readjust, to check what is wrong, to be able to give out the best to you and others. All right? But if what you've learned has been of good uh, importance to you and it has added value to you don't let us be stingy let's put it on the group let's help others your comment alone can help a lot of people make their decision that will change their life forever and it's going to be recorded for you somewhere in the spiritual realm that your comments transformed a life so thank you so much for having me and thank you so much i see more of you on the group thank you bye bye and god bless